Hi everyone, welcome to the Coldan. As you can see above me is the umbrellas, probably invented here in Mauritius. Definitely worth the visit. This is the view from the Coldan waterfront. As you can see across the way there is some sort of building and those are the Coast Guard ships with the silos for wheat behind them. A couple of the big ships offloading and who knows what those old ships are all about. And then as we come across this is the Le Bordenay Hotel and the square with a couple of fancy restaurants. The Coldan has filled up a lot with shops at the moment. It seems to be some sort of an event. If you want to come down, have a look at the umbrellas, have a look at the flea market stalls. That's busy going on at the moment and of course the umbrellas behind me make a great backdrop. Uh -huh. Yeah, Port Louis in a nutshell. This is one of the original buildings of the Col Dam. As you can see, it's made with the original Mauritian lava rock. And of course, the casino. What would a waterfront be without a casino? Maybe original cannonballs? Maybe original anchor? Or maybe just a art installation? This is the Port Louis waterfront. Uh, as you can see, they've designed some really nice benches that people can sit on and they've got a lot of shops on on the other side of course is the harbour area these are the two french cannons that didn't fire a shot when the british came because the british came overland from that side and they were pointing that way so a little bit of a mess up this is a statue of a guy the honorable paul raymond Berginger. and this is the old bloke who brought democracy to mauritius i assume he was the first prime minister Bad news, the underpass is not working, so we have to cross the actual road, which is like a death trap. But we'll get through. Hopefully no one will run us over. There we go. Got lucky, got to the other side. The market is just over there. From this point on, you won't see much of me because I have to wear a mask. We are actually in the heart of downtown Port Louis, but on our way to the market. Okay, we're heading towards the meat area. As you can see, lots of noise. And the place looks okay. Lots of little shops, school kids. And food and juice. But we're off to the meat market, so let's go have a look. And welcome to the meat market. Look at that beautiful piece of steak. Wow. Oh, and a bit of trap. And some liver. Alright. This is where the big meat gets cut up. Is it okay if I record? Video? It's okay? And as you can see, he's chopping up some meat there on a wooden, on a real wooden chopping board. Those look like nice ribs. And of course, more beautiful meat. You gotta love Port Louis Market. And this is where the real meat happens, the chicken. Everybody loves chicken. This place is stacked full of it. Oh, and I see some fish in the background. Oh, look at today's catch. This stuff is beautiful and fresh. All fresh. All fresh. Wow. And some mackerel available. Okay, we're gonna try to get across this road. Oh, there's a pedestrian crossing, so we're okay. And into the market, the veggie portion of the market. Let's go see what's happening here. Here we got some street foods. Uh, Dalpuri looks like. Lots of Dalpuri and rotis. Getting some clothes here. Oh, you can buy goldfish. That's pretty cool. Don't need a goldfish, but there you go. Huh, well, I never. Okay, this is the vegetable market. Potatoes, tomatoes, chilies, lots of chilies, red and green, relatively cheap prices. And of course, this feeds all the veggie sellers in the whole of Mauritius. Oh, pineapple and plantain, tons of herbs, courgettes, a little bit pricey. Uh, but everything else here seems to be in a relatively. Oh, and this is like a cucumber melon, very nice. Things in bottles, very interesting. Bonjour. And of course, coconuts for 20 rupees. Fruits, lots and lots of beautiful looking fruit. Mandarin, oh, three for 50 rupees. And grapes, lots and lots of herbs. And chili, of course. Not too expensive, 80 rupees, 80 rupees. And of course, you can get a little bag. I'm in what can technically be called the banking sector because, well, everything around me is banks. Weirdly, these buildings all line up with the mountain. So 
they start getting progressively lower as you go through okay maybe not that one but they have to all stay within a height limit so that they line up with the mountain and that's why they listed buildings here this ABC banking is one of my favorite buildings uh, because it has the balconies I think before this one was built the people used to sit on their balconies and look at the ocean this may look like a wall but it's actually a piece of road so they made some of the road out of these uh, stones that they use for the walls everywhere so on the wall on the road this is the main road into Port Louis and we have a fountain not working at the moment and statues of people and really really tall palm trees so, and an arch of some sort and a guy loads of people in tall, tall palm trees these are a little bit odd because as you can see there is clearly no smoke vent but they have tons of these little plaques all the way down the road one thing I do love about Port Louis is every few steps you have yourself a rubbish bin I wonder what that means here yeah, on this wall we might not be at Champ de Mans which is the race course but they're gonna have a horse so this is probably a fountain that normally does work mandatory guy on guitar followed by loads of traffic but not to worry we get to go down this is a road that leads under the road or tunnel that leads under the road so in the tunnel under the road uh, it's, it's okay it's an alright tunnel uh, it's a lot nicer than, than the other one and they have cleaned it up a bit but uh, there were some problems when it rains this place does fill up so don't come here when it rains and apparently there was a really bad flood where a lot of people died in one of these so just be careful when you're coming through and up we go they made a beautiful rain cover now so maybe it won't get rained in here hope you all enjoyed this whirlwind tour of Port Louis went through it really quickly have a look at a few places so we will do a full adventure in Port Louis we go try the food and find some of the more exotic places but for now I think in front of this fountain I will say bye bye don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and come back you'll see another part of Port Louis that wasn't a rush so until then from a sunsetting Port Louis under the umbrellas we'll see you next time